Welcome back. Strength, dedication, kindness, and above all, empathy. This week's Everyday Hero volunteers for a job few of us have the emotional capacity to handle. She's the person hospitals call when family can't make it to the side of a dying loved one. When patients are alone and at the end of their lives, Susie Christian answers the call for help. I mean, it's getting to be a part of a really intense part of people's lives. No, she's not a doctor. She's a volunteer for Swedish Medical Center's NOTA program. She sits with dying patients when no one else can. The program is very simple. The volunteers uh, submit their cell phone number and they receive a text when there's a need. And whoever can take that call calls in and gets the information and then comes to the hospital to be with the patient. For Susie, that call came during our recent bomb cyclone. I had never seen a patient that was unresponsive before. When I walked in, I just had a feeling that he was a really nice guy. And I don't know how you could tell that, but I just kind of knew it. For 17 hours, she held vigil. I told him that if he wanted to die alone, that this is a good time to do it because I'm going to be gone for four hours. I will try to check in on you from 12 to 4. And he passed at 12.45. Susie shared with me how grateful the family of her patient was that um, she was able to be there with him. Saying goodbye to a loved one is never easy, but thanks to volunteers like Susie, there's comfort in knowing someone is by their side. We have a surprise for you. Because of everything you do for NOTA, we want to honor you as a Denver 7 everyday hero. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Such a tough job she has, but she does it with so much compassion. Now, we get our Hero Story nominations from you, our viewers. If you have someone in mind we should recognize, tell us about them. Just go to thedenverchannel.com slash hero.